This video is brought to you by our friends over at Mantis Sleep. You can go and get your Mantis Sleep purchase 10% off by using promo code JKBogan. If you don't know what Mantis Sleep is, they have sleep masks. And if you're struggling to sleep right now, I recommend you grabbing a mask. You can go over, use the promo code 10% off JKBogan and get your Mantis Sleep sleep mask. They have plenty. They have one that connects to your phone. They have a silk one. They have a weighted one. They have all sorts of them. Check it out. Link is in the description. Now let's start this show. All right, folks, <clears throat> we're back. And we're back here because the Rams actually signed somebody. They brought back Troy Reader, linebacker from Delaware, was an initially a Penn State linebacker. Then he transferred to Delaware. We actually interviewed him on Downtown Rams. Um, you know, came and then went and then came again. And the thing about him is that, you know, he went to the Rams and, you know, he ended up, I think, going to the Chargers. I think he was on the Vikings at one point, came back to the Rams and had a role on them. So, look, I'm going to say this right now. I like this move, but I want to explain what this move means for the Rams going forward, because I see a lot of people who are getting really excited about the linebackers in this draft. And to be honest with you, I'm not overly excited about them. I think there are some that, you know, like Peyton Wilson, who's really good, but has some injury concerns. Edgering Cooper's probably the best. Junior Colson's intriguing out of Michigan. Jeremiah Trotter Jr. is obviously popular. A uh, big reason why he played at Clemson. Another big reason why everybody recognizes that name because his father was pretty good at this NFL thing. Um, the fact of the matter is this. This is not a great linebacker class, okay? This is actually one of the weaker linebacker classes that I have watched, that I have scouted in my entire existence doing scouting and, and watching tape. Um, I mean no disrespect towards anybody in this class. I don't mean as a whole necessarily like everybody is trash or anything like that. Um, but if you're looking for a game breaker or somebody like that, it just there's not one in this class in my opinion. Um, Peyton Wilson could be, he's a lot of fun to watch at NC state. The issue are, you know, is the fact he has injury concerns. Um, with that said, signing somebody like Troy reader today brings them in a total of five guys. If you're doing the roster math. So Ernest Jones locked in for this year. Will he get a contract extension? Who knows, but he is going to be the starting linebacker for the Rams this year. No strings attached. Ernest Jones. Number two, Christian Roseboom. They brought him back. He's coming back. We talked about in the offseason, Blake Cashman would be a nice option. He ended up going over to Minnesota. We also talked about Tyrell Dodson being a nice option. However, they did not go after those guys. They did not really prioritize the linebacker position. They were fine bringing back Christian Roseboom. They're fine with Jake Hummel, who is a UDFA, just like Christian Roseboom. They're fine with Troy Reeder, who is a UDFA. And they're fine with Ola Kunle Fadukasi. And the thing about Fadukasi is that he didn't get a ton of opportunities to play last year, um, but he is a great special teamer. It's a big reason why they picked him up. He can play special teams. He's going to fill that in well. Maybe he gets some run on the defense. I'm not saying they don't take a linebacker in this draft. No, that is not what I'm saying at all. I am saying that when you look at this team right now, the way it stands, there's five linebackers, and they just signed two this offseason. They like Jay Hummel, obviously the athleticism. You saw it in preseason, the interception he had. Um, he has you know plenty of athleticism there. They like Ola Kunle uh, Fadukasi. So that pretty much, in my opinion, rules out Peyton Wilson, Edgerin Cooper, Junior Colson, Jeremiah Trotter Jr., Maris Lufau from Notre Dame, potentially Tommy Eichenberg from Ohio State. I think it does rule out maybe Cedric Gray. So, you know, looking at like Cedric Gray here. Steel Chambers out of Ohio State, I think could, they could be interested in. Jalen Ford out of Texas. Darius uh, Sawa. I, I probably butcher that name out of UCLA. I, I like his tape um, as like kind of a late round guy. But yeah, and then you have Dallas Gant out of uh, Toledo. So that's another option. Jordan McGee out of Temple. That is really it. So that that's my point is that 
I think they're going to be drafting a linebacker, but to kind of, I guess, explain actions speak louder than words. And the Rams told you today by making the action to go back out and bring in Troy reader, the same off season, they brought back Christian Roseboom. They want stability and they want familiarity. They want to have guys that know the system, know the scheme that they can trust guys that are leaders, veterans. Okay. Um, with that said, they will be taking a linebacker in my opinion, but it won't be until day three. And I would imagine it's probably going to be late day three, probably in the sixth round. Okay. If I were to guess on anybody off the top of my head, it would be Jalen Ford out of Texas. That is the one linebacker. I think, I I don't know. I I could be wrong, but I I think Jalen Ford out of Texas would make sense. Uh, depending on where he goes, but I think day three, Jalen Ford out of Texas. Now, um, what does it mean though? Like, so they definitely can't take a linebacker. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just trying to get your, I'm trying not to get your hopes up because I know a lot of people in their mock drafts are like, you know, Hey Jake, look at this. What do you think about Edger and Cooper? I don't think they're going to have any interest in picking a linebacker that high. Um, Cooper will probably go in the second or third round, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Peyton Wilson could even go as high as the first round. So I just don't see them being interested in those guys in that way. Does it mean that they are not on their board? Absolutely not. Does it mean they're not interested in them? No, but where they are on the board, where they will be selected, I don't think the Rams value linebacker as much as the next team. I think they felt really good when they drafted Ernest Jones, like he could be one of those guys. And they kind of gave us a little bit of a, you know, they they threw a curveball at us. Let's just call it like it is when they got Bobby Wagner. But the fact of the matter is that they have never changed their stance. They prefer linebackers that they could find late in the draft or in UDFA. And to be fair, they've done a nice job with college free agent linebackers. Troy Reader just signed what his third contract with the Rams. Um, Jacob Hummel's on the team. Christian Roseboom's on the team. Corey Littleton. I, I mean, they find guys in UDFA all over the place, but linebacker, they've had success, and I think they'll continue to do so. In that case, some linebackers to to keep an eye on in UDFA, and they could absolutely get drafted. I'm not saying they won't. I mentioned Jordan McGee out of Temple. He's a potential. Dallas Gant, like I mentioned, out of Toledo. Potential Nathaniel Watson out of Mississippi State. John Tree Hunter out of Georgia State. Easton Gibbs out of Wyoming. Aaron Casey out of Indiana. Omar Spates out of LSU. And Eric Gentry out of USC, as well as Cal Holiday. Uh, or Halliday, excuse me, out of uh, Michigan State. So those are just some priority free agents to keep an eye on. Again, this this video is entirely to inform you. If you didn't know, Troy Reader is a Ram. He's staying with the Rams. And the second thing, the second purpose of this video is to kind of make a little bit of an inference based on what we know. And what we do know is that now that Troy Reader's back with the Rams, he's the second, like Christian Roseboom, Now, I suspect that they are not going to take a linebacker super high. Does that mean that Troy Reader is considered this can't-miss gem? No, but they have five guys that they trust. Maybe they add another guy. Maybe they don't add anybody. Who knows? But those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Comment section is going to be a bloodbath. I know not everybody loves Troy Reader, but hey, Super Bowl champion Troy Reader deserves some respect, and I'm going to give that to him. So... With that said, appreciate you guys tuning in. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, be sure to follow me on all social media at JK Bogan. And check out the latest Downtown Rams episode we just dropped. Alexis and I doing our mock draft 2.0 combined. Uh, But that's going to do it. See you guys soon. Later, folks. Do you love talking about the Rams, the NFL, or just want to be a part of a community? Join my free Discord server today. We're over 800 members. We got 24-7 live chat, a level 3 boosted server, the ability to call into JE Live, playing online games with us on kick streams, toggleable alerts for when I go live on YouTube or kick so you don't miss a live stream, 
and exclusive giveaways. Click the link in the description, the comments section, or the link that comes up in the video to learn more and join today.